All right, so let's just uh, make a simple presentation about the things which we have just modeled. So if we open one of these, let's open this south elevation, open with current settings, which is here. And we have this kind of drawing presented to us. And we want to be able to, you know, make it a little bit better. So we need to go to the settings, settings. And the things that I like to change include the within the model display so let's find the model display model appearance here so let's change to black all through so i'll click on uniform cut pens and i like to change everything to black to have that clear cut and the other thing is um the uncut surface so starting with Akika 25 we have something called the texture Feel. So I like to use the texture feel because it gives a little bit of interest onto the surfaces with the texturing of a 2D surface. So be sure to check that and we'll, we can as well uh, override the uncut pen and the default is just fine. So I'll keep it like that. And if you don't want to see these things through the glass, you might need to check here and check transparency as so it's, it's not seen and as well we can add in a little bit of distance to, to you know, sort of send those things to the back. So let's add here uh, distance and uh, keep the defaults the way they are. We say okay and watch what happens. All right, so this is what we have and it's pretty cool. Uh, so now we have uh, things going on here. Of course, the the distant thing stopped us here, so. We need to, to come back here and uh, extend it. So in the flow plan, we can move this be to behind the drawing. So when we go back to the settings here, we can change a few things like the way I noticed that even the distant ones, you can also add a texture field to them. So I'll just use a surface did I check cover fill? No, no, no. It's supposed to be surface texture fill, non-shaded. And let's say OK for now and look at what it looks like here in the elevation rather. So we have something going on here. I like it. Not terrible. And as well, you can go ahead and tweak it to your liking. So I just removed the areas which were popping. Well, another, we actually have a way in Archicad to copy attributes. So if you wanted to do the, the same parameters we have changed in this elevation to show up in the rest of elevations, you can pick attributes and inject attributes. So we have something here like the pick up parameters. So we can pick the parameters of this elevation and with that we just use the inject parameters now to inject them in here so now there we are and now we can adjust this to where we want it to stop and we can continue to inject inject them in here just grab this elevational limit to where we want it to stop and as well you can you can use the shortcuts which are control alt to click and there you are you have injected the parameters now it looks a bit messy in the floor plan but it's not going to show so no problem about that so if we open any other let's open like this one in a new tab uh, so now this is what we kind of have and that's pretty cool. So let's export these things to a layout 